Hi, my name is Robert Schmidt, and today we're going to install the black hole skimmer on a stand in this tank using a canister filter. Let's have a look and see what's inside the box with the black hole skimmer. First thing we see is our instructions with a sticker. We have a stand. We have a three quarter inch PVC tee that clips onto the stand. We have an adapter that will go on top of the pipe. We have three different size hose adapters, uh, 16, 18, and 20 millimeter. That's like one half, five eighths, and uh, three quarter inch. We have a little package of activated carbon and some silicone sealant. We have a guppy guard. We put this on top of our skimmer. If we have little fish that we don't want to go into the skimmer, this will protect them. We have a little ring that fits on the bottom of the funnel. We have our black hole skimmer. The funnel and the body and the funnel holder. And we have a piece of three quarter inch clear PVC. The cap fits on top of that. And then our black hole skimmer, after we take out the maxi jet adapter, fits on top. And then we put this in the aquarium. You can see it's too tall. We're gonna cut it later. And there's a chart that to tell us how long to cut this pipe. Okay, so now let's put the stand and the skimmer in the aquarium. The first thing we have to do is measure the depth of this water. And we'll measure it from the bottom of the tank to the surface of the water. And it is 14 and a half inches deep. We'll look at our instructions. And there's a chart here to tell us. So we look at 14 and a half inch deep. And it tells us the two blanks should be five inches. We're gonna use this pipe cutter to cut it. It's a little dirty, I've been building my pond and I'll have a video on that pond pretty soon. So we're gonna measure five inches. A lot of people cut with a saw, I like to cut with this. It's gonna be a little marked because uh, my tool's a little rusty. That's it, five inches. We will push it down into the PVC tee. I'm gonna take it off the stand to do this. And then we're going to put the adapter on top. Put our skimmer on. And then put it on the stand. We'll take off our funnel and put on the ring. Just snaps on and then snap that onto the skimmer. There. Now, notice we don't have any substrate in our tank. So I got these little rocks we could use. Normally I just put the substrate on top. Just put those on there. And one other thing we have to do is I am going to use this 5 8 inch hose. So I have to get the right adapter for this hose. I believe it's going to be this one. Make sure it fits. Fits perfect. And we are going to push that right into the T. Notice I'm not siliconing any of this yet. Once I get it all properly sized, then I'll take it out, dry it off, silicone it, and let it sit overnight to dry. So let's put this in the aquarium now. We 
it's perfect. I'm gonna get the camera and show you. So the funnel is right on top of the water. Notice it can go under the water and it can reach all the way up to the top. That's exactly where we want it to be, is right even with the surface. That way, if the water falls a little bit, the funnel will adjust, you see? So we have maybe an inch there, I think. Plus, the motor itself will pull it down a little bit. And the more powerful the motor, the more suction from the canister, the deeper this will go. So this is the way I like to set up the intake to the canister. We have a T to split the line. You can also use a Y. This is the intake from the skimmer. This is the intake from the canister. Now the canister has less resistance than the skimmer. So we put a flow valve in and this flow valve will allow us to restrict the flow from the intake so the skimmer can have more flow. If we didn't put the flow in there, it may be enough or we might have to put some kind of sponge on the intake to restrict the flow. So we can either put a sponge on the intake, use a control valve, or just hope that there's enough suction to pull both. Once we get all the back plumbed, we just attach it to the canister filter. Look at it for the inputs go into the tank. go so we can see the one input to the skimmer to the one wiggling and we can see the canister intake okay we had to change canisters to a 470 the last canister wasn't powerful enough and we're going to plug it in now this is with both sides wide open now the canister filter is getting up to speed the funnel's become calmer and it's about a millimeter or two under the water. So right now we're not even using the flow control. And I'm gonna close the flow control a little bit, get more power to the skimmer. I'm gonna turn it off and turn it on so you can see how much it goes down. With the guppy guard on. If we split it again. Now it's going through the skimmer and through the intake through the canister.